Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find men's pants made in the USA. All right, so I told y'all in the last video that I did on men's dress shirts made in the USA that I was gonna do a follow-up video on pants. So here it is. I know there's a ton to cover in the apparel category, so we're gonna do some upcoming separate videos on women's workwear and women's pants, so make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for those. But today we're talking about all of our usual sections, how to spot pants that are made in the USA, my top picks for American-made men's pants, and covering some of the big brands in the industry and where they're actually made. Now, per usual, also written about this exact same topic, so check in the description below for a link to that article, or you can just Google All American Reviews Pants, and you should be able to see our articles there. And if you're passionate about buying American-made products, make sure to like and subscribe and head over to allamericanreviews.com where you're gonna find all of our research and buying guides on shopping American-made. Alrighty, let's get into today's video on how to find men's pants made in the USA. All right, so there's a lot to cover in men's pants. So today we're just gonna go category by category and talk about material sourcing and our top picks. Now you'll notice as we go from more dressy to more casual options, it becomes a lot easier to find American sourcing options. So just keep that in mind where we're going through some of our top picks. And if I miss any of your favorite American made men's pants, make sure to leave a comment below. And for more general tips on Made in the USA labeling and how to shop for American-made products, make sure to check out my full explainer video, which I've linked in the description below, as well as the cards at the top of this video. So without further ado, let's kick it off with dress pants. Starting with materials, dress pants are typically made from wool, polyester, or some kind of synthetic blend. Now I've covered these materials and their sourcing options extensively in previous videos, but the short wrap on wool in particular is that sourcing really just depends on the type of sheep that it comes from. Demand for wool has slowly gone down since the 1940s with a lot of manufacturers switching to more synthetic blends, but nevertheless, the US is still producing 17 million pounds of wool per year, according to the latest data that I could find for 2020. There's still a lot of competition out there though, and the US is not the global leader in wool production, so just make sure to check your sources when you're shopping for dress pants. There are a few good options for American-made dress pants. Not all of our top picks are 100% made in the USA, just because it was really tough to find in this subcategory. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping around, and we'll make sure to provide any details that we can on the manufacturing process for all of our top picks, but let's dive into them. First up is Hardwick. These guys got started all the way back in 1880. They call themselves America's oldest startup. I don't know about that, but they make a damn good pair of dress pants. They also have a lot of other great formal wear, so definitely make sure to check out Hardwick. Hurtling is another good option. They've been hand stitching all of their stuff for over a hundred years and have a lot of good dress trouser options. They source some of their fabrics like wool from Italy, but otherwise they are hand stitched in Fall River, Massachusetts. And my last top pick in the dress pants category is Todd Shelton. Now these guys are not 100% made in the USA. They have a factory in East Rutherford, New Jersey, and they source some of the materials for their dress pants like wool from England, but otherwise are assembled and manufactured in that factory in New Jersey. So just know that going in with the material sourcing. All right, next let's hit some chinos and khakis and just some more casual pants in general. Quick note on materials, chinos are made from twilled cotton, which is a lot softer and more easily draped than denim. Cotton is obviously a great material, and there are a lot of American sourcing options. In terms of top picks for more casual pants like chinos and khakis, I'll start off with Jack Donnelly. These guys are on a mission to make the best khakis in the world, and they're pretty much the only dressy khakis that I buy. I actually have a pair of the M4 Slim khakis right here. Now, a couple of notes on these guys. So they come in a lot of different style varieties and color varieties, and they're always dropping kind of new styles every couple of months. They do come unhemmed, and so you're gonna have to go to your local alteration shop to make sure that you can get it fitted appropriately. So uh, basically the end of the pants is just unhemmed, so you'll need to get that cut. Next is American Giant, and more specifically, their Roughneck Pant. This is another one of my favorite pairs of pants that I wear a ton. It's canvas pants, like I mentioned, that are very durable, actually a lot softer than your typical canvas pants, but good for work wear or casual wear. They come in a lot of different styles, but generally just an overall great pair of pants. 
Next is Bill's Khakis. Now these guys have been around for a while. They got acquired in 2016, but are generally a very well-known name in the world of khakis. Now these are just cut and sewn in the USA, but generally a very good option, so you can check out Bill's Khakis. Duckhead is another decent option. You may recognize them from their logo with the head of the mallard duck on it. They're a pretty popular brand. Unfortunately, not very many of their chinos and khakis are made in the USA, but I did want to call out one, and that is their Gold Glory Chino, which is made in the USA. And last one on casual pants, did want to call out All American Clothing Co. They are a great store that has a ton of great American made options and generally very inexpensive. So if you're on a budget, definitely check out All American Clothing Co. All right, next, let's hit work pants. Now there's a lot of different material options when it comes to work pants. One of the most popular is cotton duck or duck canvas, as you may know it. Now there are a lot of good American sourcing options for this material specifically, but they make a great pair of work pants. So let's dive into our top picks. Once again, All American Clothing Co. is a great option here. They have a lot of good inexpensive stuff for your duck cotton cloth pants. Next is LC King. These guys are based in Bristol, Tennessee and make a ton of great workwear. Check out their Heritage series specifically. They have a great duck jean as well as some other denim pants that are really good. Next up is Roundhouse. Roundhouse is the oldest operating manufacturer in the state of Oklahoma and they have a ton of great work pan options, specifically of the duck cloth variety. So if you want just a great reliable pair of pants, Roundhouse is a really good option. And the last one I'll cover for work pants is Atlas 46. The founders of Atlas 46 come from a background in manufacturing for the military and law enforcement agencies, so they have a big focus on durability and combat proven materials, which obviously translates really well for a good pair of work pants. They have a lot of good options, but check out their Concord work pants in particular. All right, last category, let's cover some activewear and sweatpants. Once again, cotton and cotton polyester blends dominate the materials for sweatpants, so you should be able to find some good American sourcing options. American Giant is a really good option in this category. They have a ton of great everyday sweatpants that come in a lot of colors and styles. And they're just generally a great apparel brand that's made in the USA. So if you need a reliable pair of sweatpants, definitely check out American Giant. Goodwear is another good option. They've been around since 1983. Make a great pair of sweatpants. Also make sure to check out their t-shirts too. And then Stateline is the last brand that I'll mention in this category. They're more recent on the scene. They got started back in 2017, but have all of their material sourcing in the US, obviously, so uh, and assemble all of their stuff here, but great pair of sweatpants, so definitely check them out. Now, I know some of y'all are probably wondering, but wait, Mike, you didn't cover jeans. Relax, I'm not leaving y'all hanging. I have a completely separate video covering jeans made in the USA, which I will link in the description below, as well as the cards at the top of the video, so make sure to check that out. All right, let's wrap up with some of the big players in the industry and where they're actually made. First up, are Carhartt pants made in the USA? And the answer is no. Sadly, these are imported from Mexico and other countries for the most part these days. Next, are Dickies pants made in the USA? So we recently refreshed our research on Dickies and sadly not much has changed. They're still made in Honduras, Mexico and other countries. And lastly, are Dockers made in the USA? These famous khakis are a subsidiary of Levi's today. Now they used to have a factory in Virginia, but that factory has sadly closed and most of their stuff is now manufactured overseas, primarily in Cambodia. All right, that's it for this video on how to find men's pants made in the USA. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews. And if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.